Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be reviewing the Keychron M6. So this mouse comes in at $49, weighing in at 78 grams. So what makes this mouse so uh, important? I guess it's mainly because of the shape. So to start off, let's start with the shape. So this mouse is clearly inspired by the Logitech MX Master. It has the same hump right here or and the same type of uh, ergonomic uh, structure of the mouse. So let me pull the MX Master right here. So from this top down view, you can see that they're actually quite similar. However, as you also see, the MX Master is also a lot wider than the Keychron M6. So the Keychron M6 in hand actually feels a lot more narrow, making it like feel a lot, making it feel smaller. So if you thought the MX Master was too bulky, this mouse will actually might be better. However, personally for me, I actually uh, prefer the mouse to be a bit more wide. I feel like this mouse is too narrow. And for me, the X Master might be a little bit too big. So I think something between would have been a much better. In terms of the length of the mouse, I feel like uh, they're quite similar. I don't see any uh, anything too different between uh, the length itself. Maybe the X Master is slightly longer, but it's actually not that big of a difference in terms of that. So. That feels actually pretty, quite similar. The hump, however, actually feels a bit different. So when I put my hand on the Keychron M6, uh, I'm not sure you can tell, it, the hump is like more centerized versus uh, the hump on the MX Master is more towards the back a little bit more. So it arches a little bit more backwards. So it gives you that uh, grip, uh, it gives you that uh, taper grip like this versus uh, the MX Master, you're actually more, like, you're claw gripping it. So, so this mouse could actually be uh, better for gaming, despite it being an uh, MX Master inspired shape. So this mouse could use for two purposes, gaming and office. However, if you're just using it for the office, the MX Master shape actually might uh, be more comfortable throughout the day. Uh, another thing that is uh, similar between these two mouse is uh, that both of them have this horizontal scroll wheel. So when you're on Excel and you want to scroll it horizontally or on any web web pages that supports it, you can now scroll uh, both of these mouse. However, the MX Master is obviously more premium. Is using some kind of a metal aluminum scroll wheel versus a plastic scroll wheel right here. So it, so this one definitely feels more premium. However, this mouse actually requires you to have the program installed in order to activate this uh, scroll wheel. Because uh, personally for me, when I'm using this mouse at work, I have to install the program because it doesn't work, and I'm using a laptop that's from work, so I can't really install any program that I want. Making this mouse actually a lot better because this one's actually straight up just plug and play. Because when I plug this mouse straight in, it just this mouse just automatically works. No software required. Unless you want to switch to DPI, which you can do that on your personal computer, and then you just uh, has onboard memory, so you just transfer it over, no problem. This mouse doesn't have onboard memory, so it really so it doesn't save your sensitivity or anything. So if you plug this into your own personal computer and change like the sensitivity level or DPI, and then you go to your work laptop, it will actually reset from my personal experience. And how, but however, this scroll, like I mentioned, isn't premium. So if you're able to, you know, install the software or you're only using this for your main personal computer, then, uh, this might be better, but I think the biggest difference between these two mouse, well, I mean, besides, I mean, before we talk about that, let's talk about this last part here, which is uh, where your thumb is when you're resting on it. This one's actually a lot bigger than uh, this, than uh, this part, so, which contributes to the overall narrowness of the mouse, so. So this is actually also something to consider. If you are someone that rests with your thumb often, this will feel a lot better. Okay, so going back to what I was going to say before, so the, big, the biggest difference between these two mouse is definitely the weight. So this only weighs in at 78 grams. And surprisingly, it's pretty well distributed. So like the weight balancing is actually pretty good. But both back and front have a, feels the same. There's no one side or the other feeling heavier than the other. And making the 78 gram mouse actually feel surprisingly light for this size. Versus the MX Master here, which I'm not really sure of the weight, but it's definitely over a hundred something grams. 
and it feels extremely heavy. So if we're using this productivity you can get throughout the day, your hands might get tired. Versus this mouse, uh, you could probably use it for longer sessions since it only weighs at 78 grams, which I actually prefer. Because the first thing I noticed when I picked up this mouse is how light it was compared to the MX Master I was using before. And after using comparing both of these on a normal eight hour work day, my hands definitely feel significantly less tired when I'm using this one. So that is also something you want to consider. Another big difference is the 30, 3395 sensor. So this sensor is a flagship gaming center sensor. So does it really matter for office use? I say yes, because uh, in my own personal uh, office setup, I'm using a 144 Hertz, 1080p screen, and I'm using two of them. So that's what I use for work because uh, they can actually be picked up for quite cheap these days. And when I'm using this mouse, the 1000 uh, polling rate definitely feels a lot better than the uh, 125, I believe, on this mouse. I, I, I notice we feel like a uh, better cursor movement, mouse movement, even just doing like, you know, Excel work or document or PDF work. You definitely feel this mouse feels a lot smoother, especially on a 144 Hz display. But that obviously that your mileage may vary if you're using a 60 Hz display, for example, for work. But I'm personally using a 144 one and this mouse feels a lot better. And in terms of other features of the mouse, this mouse also has Bluetooth, just like the MS Master, as well as uh, different DPI stages, which this mouse doesn't. Uh, so, And also, this mouse has the infinite scroll wheel, just like the MX Master. So if you were to click this button, you can scroll uh, indefinitely, just like the MX Master here. Not as a uh, premium, obviously, but this is good enough for me, and I have no issues with this at all. No scroll issues, doesn't get stuck, and the click is pretty good. And for the clicks itself, I forgot to mention, they're using Bono Blue Dots, I believe, and they feel amazing. And overall, this mouse actually feels pretty nice. However, there's one thing that I don't like about it is that uh, it does feel kind of a, like a toy, kind of, when I pick it up. Like, it doesn't, this, this mouse just doesn't feel as premium overall as something like uh, other lightweight mouse that have been coming out. Obviously not as premium as the MX Master. Uh, there is a coating on here, I think. It, it just feels like plastic overall, honestly, even with the coating. So don't expect this to be like an ultra premium feeling mouse because it really isn't. However, this is like more than what I need for work. And at $50, this is a no brainer in my opinion. Unless you uh, really want the uh, more premium feeling MX Master with uh, electric software and the extremely good battery life on the MX Master. I know this mouse, you charge it once and not have charged for like forever, honestly. I, I don't even know if I ever charged the mouse. Uh, but this, however, this mouse also has good battery life. It's not as good as the MX Master, but it's still great. I could use this for like a week at a time, no problems at all with the battery. Uh, and overall, I think this mouse is great and have no trouble recommending it to anybody who's looking for an MX Master alternative, something with a better sensor and a lighter weight. Even though the shape might not be overall as good as the MX Master, I still think you could probably adjust to this and, and enjoy it because uh, at 50 bucks, this is hard to beat. For the office range unless you go for something even more higher range which is uh, the razor bass ultimate or gg502 both of which uses game sensors also but they're a lot more expensive and they're also a lot heavier as well and i feel like the mx master i mean the key crime 6 is definitely a great alternative to all the other ones with this type of uh shape and grip style and i definitely recommend it if you're looking for a budget office mouse